I made $7,599 trading in two days. All right, all right, hold your applause. Today I'm teaching you my secret supply and demand forex scalping strategy that's made me buckets of money over the years. I'll hook you up for free and I'll show you five live trades I did using this strategy just this week. But first, in the name of the holiday spirit, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, win the raffle, let's go. Before I get into my live trade showing you my supply and demand forex trading strategy, I first have to show you the basics of supply and demand. And to do that, I'm gonna be showing you the Bitcoin US dollar right now. So you can see right here, the green box, that is the demand zone. This is the origin of strong bullish trends. And at the top, you have the red. This is the supply zone, the origin of strong bearish trends. Now, all I'm trying to do with supply and demand, like anything else, I'm trying to buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high basic concept, but when using supply and demand, it really makes sense, right? The reason I have this zone right here at $30,000 is because every time we get to this zone, we get pushed up. This is when the buyers come in. The buyers are saying this is too low a price. This is a good value. This is where I'm going to buy. And when we get up to $60,000, we have the sellers pushing down, constantly pushing down. Look, this price is too high. That's what they're saying. And if you're a good trader, you're not buying at the all time high, right? You're waiting for the price to come down or a couple of weeks and then you'll buy. That's how you make money trading. Obviously, when it comes to scalping, it's a little bit more difficult than this because I'm not dealing with 60,000, not dealing with 30,000. But let's jump right into my trades. I'll show you how to use supply and demand to win more Forex trades when scalping. Let's go. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. Let me show you some live trades I took using this supply and demand Forex scalping strategy this week. You can see this is a gold trade. It's on the M15 time frame and it's a sell trade. Let's just take a look and see what happened. Boom, went in my direction, smashed the take profit, made $2,255, a really nice win on this trade. Now, let me break down and tell you why I did what I did on this trade. So because this is a supply and demand strategy, the first thing I'm looking at is the supply zone. You can see the supply zone is this box right here. The price tries to get out of this box, but it keeps getting pushed down and getting lower and lower and lower. So that's telling me the sellers are still in control from this larger move we had right here. So the first thing I'm doing is saying, all right, that's telling me that this is a sell trade. Then I have a wedge pattern right here. I love wedge patterns. And when that wedge pattern is broken, that's another thing telling me this is a sell trade. And as part of the wedge, I actually have this line right here. This is a trend line. Again, telling me we are gonna stay low, we are gonna get a sell trade. And the last thing I used was the RSI. I love the RSI. And we are below 50 right here, which is where I decided to enter the trade. So all of those things was telling me that this is a sell trade. You can see I'm using the supply zone here correctly, and this is a really nice win of $2,255. Let's jump into trade number two. Let's take a look at my second supply and demand Forex scalping trade. For this trade, I'm on the 30 minute time frame. This is a GBP USD buy trade. You can see I just hit a one to one risk reward ratio. And this is what happened with that trade. So you can see I very quickly smash my take profit. I make $1,095. Now let me break down the trade. All right, so you can see here I have my demand zone. It is getting pushed up right here. It's getting pushed up right here. It's struggling to get to the bottom of this box. We are getting higher price levels. So I'm thinking this is a decent trade. This isn't the, the best demand zone that I've had. Obviously, it gets broken on the way up and then it starts coming down but i do believe that we are in this pattern right here which is why i look for more confirmations you can see 
I have the wedge formation right here. I did a triangle video the other day and we broke through. So once it breaks through and then I'm looking for that buy trade. I also at this point have the RSI above the 50 mark right here. Again, telling me we have a buy trade. Sometimes it really is that simple. And for my stop loss, I'm just using recent low, right? You see a recent low here. So that's where I put my stop loss. And for my take profit, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just using these recent highs over here, you can see. And that's why I have my take profit at that level. So simple, a good trade, but I have better trades. And also, if you need any help with this strategy, if you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I know I'm going quick, but I'm here to help you. Let's go into trade number three. All right, for my third trade, I have a US dollar Japanese yen buy trade. Let's take a look and see what happened with this trade. It starts going in my direction and boom, I do slam into my take profit here, which is a win of $1,388. This is a risk reward ratio of four to one. That's really what you wanna be doing when you're using supply and demand trades. That's exactly what you wanna be hitting. Let me break down and tell you why I took this trade. All right, so I have my demand zone right here my demand zone looks really good this is much better than my last trade you can see here we have a lot of buying pressure a lot of buying pressure we just can't seem to break this zone so when we do break the zone right here this is when i'm really looking for buy trades it's at this point it's actually above my 50 rsi as well another indicator telling me this is a good buy trade and you see the trade goes right in my direction smashes the take profit an excellent excellent trade and for this one i did use a lower stop loss i do prefer using smaller stops like this so i can get two to one three to one four to one but when live trading you just don't know sometimes you're gonna give yourself two to one three to one other times you're just gonna say all right i want to hit the one to one here i'm not so confident but this one you can see i had such a solid demand zone we had so much buying pressure every time we got to the bottom of this box that I was much more confident in this trade which is why I'm using a better risk reward ratio because I'm confident that the trade is going to get me that four to one risk reward ratio which it did so now again any questions leave them down here let's go into trade number four <laughs> All right, from my fourth trade, I have a US dollar Japanese yen 15 minute sell trade. Let's go ahead and see what happened with the trade. Boom, fast trade, quick win. That's what I like to see. Now let me break down what happened with this trade. You can see here, I have my supply zone. The supply zone is looking really good on this one. It is constantly pushing down, right? We have this pressure. At this point, it broke out a little bit, but we continue to have the pressure. We continue to have this pressure and so at this point i'm thinking we definitely have a sell trade i also have my rsi below 50 this is something i use a lot of the time with my trades if you see on this channel i'm using the relative strength index a lot i love that indicator then i provide my trading signal right at this point right here it goes smashes my take profit this one was a 1.3 risk reward ratio so not that good i know you guys want to see two to one three to one four to one but when you're scalping, it's a bit harder. I'll see what I can do in the next video, but don't worry, I got trade number five coming up. Let's look at that. All right, let's take a look at trade number five. This is a Euro Japanese Yen sell trade. Let's just go ahead and see what happened with that trade. Okay, perfect, solid trade, went right in my direction. Smash to take profit right there for $2,049. Now let me tell you why I took the trade. You can see my supply zone right up here. We have lots of selling pressure. It can't break out of this box. And so I know we are eventually going to break out of this box, which is what happens right here. Once we break out of that box, that's when I'm looking to place my sell trade. And that's exactly what I do. On this trade, I had a really short stop loss. It was somewhere around here, but it was so quickly in my direction that I dragged this into a trailing stop. So this is actually a break even right here. 
which is why the, you're not seeing a stop loss on this trade. Again, I had everything that I wanted. Right here, I had the RSI below 50 as well. So this was another indication that this was a good sell trade. The supply zones are excellent. This is a great way to trade. I hope this video helps you. If you want to know more about supply zones, more about Forex trading, just let me know. I'm always around. Now let me wrap this bad boy up, maybe give you free access to my VIP group. So stick around. Don't leave just yet. Here is my MyFXBook account showing you that I've been trading live for the past week. You can see the one day I made 4,700 and then I got up to 7.6 thousand the next day. It was a solid week. I made $7,600 and here are the trades. I showed you the gold trade, right? 2.5 lots, I made $2,200 on that. On the Great Britain pound trade, I made $1,000 on that. 1300 on a USD Japanese yen, another 800 on another USD Japanese yen, and then the Euro Japanese yen, $2,000 to finish it off. And it was a really solid week using supply and demand Forex scalping. Now, I'm not done with you. If you have anything you want to say about this, leave a comment down below right now. I'm really happy that you watched this video. Also, you might want to check out my Telegram group. This is what it looks like. You can see I made 6.5 six percent in the last week that means if you were risking three percent per trade you would have made a lot of money i'm talking 20 percent in a single week these are the trades i provide you with the trades i provide you with the breakdowns i'm even talking to new analysts so i'm adding two new analysts at the end of the week so we're going to have people trading london session people trading the new york session we have way more coming for this forex signal vip group i'm so happy about it i'm also doing updates on forex fury and i'm looking to release a new robot in a couple of months as well there's a lot of big things going on right now so thanks for watching this video again leave a comment subscribe maybe go and watch this video over here go and watch that video over there i'm so thankful to you guys have a happy holidays i love you i'm out of here peace